Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Uksa from Cambodian Nest. Today, it's my pleasure to have Mr. Sarawat and Ms. Vichra uh, here for our today's interview. Without further delay, so uh, Ms. Vichra, uh, so could you please briefly introduce what is the Young Seekers Cambodia chapter? Uh, its main purpose is as well as the main activities of this uh, non-profit organization. Uh, so thank you, uh, Usa, for the question. Um, so uh, I'm Vijana, and I am the deputy lead of the Young Seekers Cambodia chapter. And uh, basically, the Young Seekers, uh, basically as a whole, is a group of youth um, who actually connect with uh, different national chapters throughout um, ASEAN and also um, China. Yep, so uh, we try to connect um, youth all together um, in a platform that um, can actually uh, build youth capacity and also contribute back to the community. And we, the Young Seekers Cambodia chapter, is one of them. We are the national chapter uh, inside Cambodia. And uh, we work on different projects, uh, different events, different programs uh, to actually uh, help youth connect with one another, not just um, youth uh, in Cambodia, but also um, youth um, in, uh, from uh, basically different um, countries. Yeah. So uh, we have implemented uh, many um, projects um, to uh, help them to uh, improve themselves, develop themselves, and also to contribute back to the community. Um, and uh, I just want to mention a few uh, of their uh, events or uh, programs that we actually implemented. So uh, just like today, we have um, joined the uh, Intergenerational Dialogue, which is the uh, platform where we connect with uh, speakers from different generations to share their thoughts and perspectives and experiences about a certain topic. And um, we also regularly have the Seekers in Dialogue, uh, which is uh, really um, similar to this one, but um, does not focus on the uh, intergenerational element. So basically, we invite um, speakers from different sectors let's say uh, from uh, academia, uh, from uh, governmental, like official, um, from uh, other representations to share their thoughts uh, on a, a certain topic and uh, in accordance to our theme throughout the year. And uh, we uh, also have um, the Ambassador's Youth Town Hall where we connect youth, Cambodian youth, to uh, ambassadors uh, of ASEAN countries inside Cambodia and also uh, China as well. So uh, we uh, try to give them the opportunity to engage uh, in a discussion um, with the ambassador to understand what is the relation uh, going on, the connection and everything between Cambodia and different countries, especially ASEAN and China. And um, besides, we also have um, Seekers Education Fair, uh, where we uh, have our team to go and visit um, high school uh, in provinces, especially in rural areas, to actually uh, provide information about higher education, about universities, and all of the opportunities that high school students should know and should be informed of and make the decision in pursuing higher education. And um, for research, we have also implemented a lot of events and um, projects as well, such as um, Seekers Young Writer Program, which is a program where we give the uh, training for the participants to know what is the process of uh, writing an article, an op-ed article and stuff like that, and we help them drafting and editing, and we provide them the platform to have uh, the piece um, published. Yeah. So, and many other projects as well, and our activities that we try to implement to help you to build a capacity and also to raise awareness of um, societal issues. Uh, so thank you, Bong uh, Vichera. So my uh, second question I would like to ask uh, Mr. Sarabot. So as Bong uh, Vichera has mentioned a lot that uh, the Young Seekers Cambodia brings to get the passionate and talented youth. So can, could you share what is the biggest achievement that your organization has accomplished so far? Yeah, thank you, Usa. Um, by the way, my name is Bong Sarabot. I'm currently the chapter lead of the Young Seekers Cambodia chapter. Well, talking about achievement, actually we have 
I would say I'm proud of my team because we have a lot of achievement. But if I may list three of the biggest achievement we have achieved so far since the establishment of the Young Seekers Cambodia in 2020. So the first one, I would say we are able to reach out to the young people, especially high school students, like which I mentioned about Seekers Education Fair. So I would say we are proud to, to say that we are the very early platform who bring all the university in Phnom Penh city to the faraway province such as Madogiri, Ratanagiri, and also um, we are planning to go to uh, Pravihir, yeah, as well. So by doing so, we are contributing to the continuation of students from high school to the university because as we have observed that in the province far away, the information and the detail of university has not been um, sent out to them directly that much. So that's why we conduct this type of events to bring awareness of what are the options that students can choose to start to further their studies in the university. And we're also bringing along people who are studying in different majors to share about their own experiences and also what they are looking for after the graduation. So that's the first one. Second, I would say we are able to equip our members. We have talked a lot about the events that we have conducted, but for the members, we also have the internal training. So which means that people who are coming uh, to be a part of TYS or the Young Seekers have the opportunity to learn uh, professional skills such as effective communication, project management, and also other sorts of training that we provide internally for our members. And I, I'm proud to say that most of our members after the graduation from TYS or even during the the involvement with the young seekers, they are able to get uh, some sort of opportunity to study abroad, to get internships, and some of them even land on their first job as well. And lastly, I would say we are one of the youth organization, uh, youth-run organization that are able to connect with different uh, parties, uh, different sectors such as we talk with the government people. We also have access to the embassies and we also talk to business people. So in our circle, we are able to connect our people with those um, influential and also professional, um, uh, I mean, professional related background people as well. Uh, so thank you for your answer. So my next question to you is, uh, as the Young Seekers Cambodia chapter has been founded since 2020, and it is true that your organization has organize uh, countless events and activities already. So what are your views on Cambodian Jews and what do you think are the challenges that you're facing nowadays? Wow, this is a very interesting question because uh, currently we are working directly with youth. So yeah, by the observation so far, I have seen that youth in Cambodia are becoming more active in terms of uh, volunteerism and also in terms of contributing to the society. So uh, thanks to the opportunity that is widely available for the people, not only in Phnom Penh city itself, but right now they are trying to target to other different cities such as Siem Reap, Batabong, and also other provinces. And not to mention, you know, in, in TYS Cambodia itself, it's not only the young people from Phnom Penh, we have people from other uh, provinces in, in our organization as well. So I can see that there are more engagement of youth in volunteerism. But talking about the challenges itself, I would say that there are a lot of opportunity to catch and youth, uh, I would say a lot of people are very, very potential in um, getting all of those opportunity. So sometimes it's a challenge whether which one they should be um, engaging and some of them might end up uh, doing more than one uh, things at a time which could actually um, affect the effectiveness of their work so um, my recommendation would be like it's good to be like active and involved with a uh, different organization but try to focus on which one you want to achieve the most from and also want to uh, contribute to the most because I think each of the organization or volunteer opportunity they have different targets different objectives so it's good to look through and choose which one they want to contribute to. Yeah. So follow up to the previous question, so I would like to ask Bong Vichara about your opinion. So have you seen a huge impact being made on youth uh, through your projects or activities? Okay, so um, I think um, 
throughout the implementation of uh, the Young Seekers Cambodia chapters, uh, events, and also projects, programs, and everything, uh, I think that um, we have seen four main impacts uh, for our team and also uh, for youth or everyone participated in um, our uh, program in general. So first is that they gain more knowledge, they expand more knowledge, the knowledge that on top of um, the knowledge that they learn in classroom. So you uh, not just learn uh, with books, like things inside the book, but you also um, gain more knowledge about um, things that uh, happen in, um, you know, like in practice uh, in uh, the actual society. So when you come here uh, in the discussion or dialogue like this, you learn from speakers and you also learn from other participants that you may meet each other during the event and you share um, your thoughts, your perspectives on the topic. So um, I think that uh, it's very beneficial for um, you to actually um, gain more um, knowledge on top of what they learn or what they are taught in class. And um, that is a very um, important because uh, those uh, pieces of knowledge are really uh, important for them to actually reflect back and to see uh, what's happening around them. Yeah, what's happening around them, what's actually happening inside society. So it's very important to raise awareness of uh, certain issues um, to uh, help protect themselves and also protect um, people uh, around them, such as family, such as friends. Like today, we have the, the intergenerational dialogue about mental health. Very important to know and um, to, you know, like how to uh, use social media uh, properly and safely and stuff like that. So um, very important um, pieces of knowledge that uh, they should actually know. And second of all is the, uh, the uh, hard skills. I would mention hard skill first. So for um, hard skills, basically um, there are uh, various skills that they could actually learn um, when they uh, like you know do this kind of thing. You write articles. You um, uh, you know like arrange, um, organize events and stuff like that. So those are skills that will help them with um, career, right? With career, right? So um, yeah, basically with project management, time management, and everything. Um, communication, you know, like contacting uh, other stakeholders, speakers, and stuff like that. So, uh, financial um, budget, like uh, yeah, budgeting, budgeting stuff and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, very important skills that um, they can learn uh, to uh, help them with their uh, careers, with their jobs, because uh, most of uh, us are um, probably university students, stuff like that. When we um, when they become uh, members in um, the Young Seekers. So that can help them prepare themselves uh, through the upcoming day when they uh, become like professionals. And um, third is um, soft skills. Basically you learn to work in teams. You learn to uh, work in teams, uh, uh, learn to understand each other's perspectives and also to put it into use. And um, not just that, but uh, um, you work in team uh, and everything, and then you also learn how to um, manage the time well with, uh, you know, like working and also studying at the same time. So that is a really good skill to uh, actually obtain. And uh, lastly, um, I would say uh, learn to know more about yourself. Like probably uh, you learn stuff at school, but then you're not gonna know or what you actually love and what you wanna do in the future. So it's like, um, a, a place or a, a, the duration uh, where you actually explore more about yourself, what you like, um, what you want to be, uh, what you want to, what, what sector you want to work in and stuff like that. And then you uh, kind of have a clear picture on what type of job you want to pursue uh, in the future. And that helps them to prepare to actually achieve that goal, not just like to chase the dream or stuff like that, not just like that, but to realize the goals. Yeah. 
If I may add to what Bajara have mentioned, there's one point that I think is very important. The Young Seeker is established not only to conduct events, just like mm. I mentioned earlier, but we want our members, like Bajara mentioned earlier as well, that most of our members are university students. So we have seen the challenge that most of the students, they go to school, they have class, and then after they graduate, some of them are capable to get a job right away because they know like the goal that they want to be like in what companies or in what sector. But TYS would be the opportunity for them to explore themselves mm -hmm. by conducting different events, by meeting different people, by talking to a lot of uh, young professional and also senior professional. They can actually get the... For, I would say like it's similar to the bridge from them from the university life into entering the young professional life. So we try to be the platform for, for the young people to achieve that opportunity. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for your answer. So two of you have mentioned a lot about the positive impacts being made on youth after your uh, events and your projects. And you have also mentioned a lot of achievements. So despite every achievement, what are the challenges that keep keeping the Young Seekers Cambodia afloat? So I would like to ask mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Sarah okay, Ford. okay. Yeah, I, we have to acknowledge that nothing is always smooth and nothing can go smoothly without any obstacle at all. I would say the, the challenges in our organization, just like um, we have raised that most of the member are university students and some of them are like just entering their job or fresh graduate. So I think the time availability of all members is uh, something we have to really uh, work on and considering the number of projects that we plan. So most of the time at the beginning of the year, we would sit together and see what, what are the themes that we want to target, what are the projects we want to implement, and how many uh, of the projects we want to do. So some of the time, you know, at the beginning of the year, it's, you know, planning is easy, but the implementation itself, it's a lot of challenge, mm. might come up unexpectedly. Like I mentioned, uh, the Young Seekers people are very potential. So sometimes, like you're supposed to run that event in a specific month but then some of the member got scholarships to study abroad got the exchange program that they have to attend or maybe attending competitions so we are so happy to see them involving with um, many many opportunity outside to to bring credit to themselves we always be supportive to that but it comes with a cost that we have to rearrange the schedule and also rearrange the venue and the teams to support each of the program for example for me myself in early 2021 even though i was a program officer back then but i was not able to contribute fully because i got to go to study um, uh, in America for one semester, but then after I come back, I have to like rearrange, readjust what other thing I can do, yeah, and also to catch up, you know, because when you are away for a while, you don't know like how the team is doing and everything. But uh, to to deal with that challenge, we often have the monthly meeting mm -hmm. where we would gather our members for like a morning discussion of how the I mean how the organization is doing what are the project being on hold what are project being implemented so everyone get the, the updates uh, in time yeah okay so my next question to you is uh, it is true that the year 2023 is about to end so what is your upcoming event that you would like to share to our audience ah, okay. yeah this year has been an amazing year 2023 we have done a lot of projects and a lot of trainings for our members I would say we have uh, a few uh, programs left that I think worth mentioning. First is the Special Ambassador Youth Town Hall. So this event actually provides the opportunity for university students to be able to have an embassy tour in the ASEAN Member States uh, Embassy in and Phnom Penh. China as well. And also this year we have China as well, so we got permission from the Chinese Embassy to visit the internal facility uh, of the embassy. And also we will have the session with the ambassadors uh, representing uh, China, uh, Philippines, Indonesia, and uh, Timor Leste. So we have four embassies this year. And besides the Ambassador Youth Town Hall, we also will have another Seekers Education Fair, uh, which we will conduct at uh, Pravihia Siem Reap uh, province, so in that area. And after that, we would have the 
the end, uh, end of the year uh, conference that we will conduct uh, to summarize what are the activity we have done throughout this year, what are the achievements and who are the partners that have been contributing to our success. Because I have to mention that there's a lot of sponsors and partners that have been uh, kindly supported us both monetarily and also both with the in-kind sponsorship that um, allow TBS to actually uh, survive and also to run smoothly throughout the year. Oh, and one more thing worth mentioning is that at the end of the year, we will have uh, a new year recruitment. So uh, if any university student who is interested in uh, becoming a part of the Young Seekers, uh, please uh, stay tuned with our Facebook page. We will also uh, post the announcement over there as well. Uh, thank you for your answer. So um, I am looking forward to seeing your event. Uh, so uh, the, to conclude our today's interview, I would like to ask one last question to Ms. Vajra. So what is your one message to Cambodian Jews? Okay. So um, I think to just give a very short and precise answer, um, my message is to obtain the four things that I've just mentioned, I think. Yeah, so again, firstly, um, you need to have uh, to like to um, chase for the opportunities to build yourself more. So you need to uh, expand your knowledge, um, expand it uh, beyond um, everything that you have heard, everything that you have learned in class, um, everything that is uh, inside the book. You need to uh, learn to build yourself more. So learning is a like endless process. So uh, you keep learning every day. So join um, these kind of activities, these kind of um, you know like uh, voluntary works and stuff like that to um, know different things, and yeah, and that will help you in the future. And also second, the hard skills that I've just mentioned. So you don't just know uh, what the the book says, but you need to apply it in reality. How to do it, right? How to do it and um, how to do it properly. <laughs> and yeah, the skills, basically, you uh, need to obtain the skills to uh, know how to do it properly. And then um, thirdly is the uh, soft skills to help you uh, to do it and with quality, basically. Yeah, so you don't just, uh, okay, I uh, completed this event, I completed, uh, I completed uh, this project and everything, but then you need to think about the quality as well. So that's why I said uh, working in team, learn, learn to work in team is very important, and um, to uh, also respect each other, yeah, to respect each other, to think critically what uh, the risk might be and what should be the solution to overcome the risk. So you need to have like um, some critical element um, inside the way of thinking. And uh, fourth, uh, just like I mentioned, um, uh, you need to, you know, like uh, find the opportunity to explore yourself more. Give yourself uh, some time and um, somewhere to uh, grow a little bit more, which is to uh, find what you like and what you are passionate about, what you want to, to be. And I might add another point, which is very important, um, is to think beyond. Basically, you cannot just think about yourself. Just oh, I I build I built up myself. I'm good, um, and then that, that's it. It's not like that. You also should care about what's happening around you, your the people around you, and especially con contribute back to the community. So by doing all of these kind of things, that we, we we did all of these things just to contribute back as well, not just to develop ourselves. So um, I think um, these are the points that you can not just build yourself up, but to help uh, the society, this society, and also to help Cambodia uh, as a country to grow even better. Yeah, so I think that's it for me. And you want to add something? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, actually, Vajra have described almost everything, I mean, the very important message. But I think I, I just have two more small points. So I would say the firstly is um, discover yourself, not just, not just by books. Yeah. You know, uh, sometimes you read, for example, how, it, how is it like to be a doctor? How is it like to be an engineer? How is it like to be a social worker? Sometimes when you read in, in the book, it describes in a way that it describes in the experience of some group of people. But I would say 
contributing to the society and doing volunteer works in the field of your interest will actually get you get your hands on the the thing by itself so when you do the thing you will know that oh i like this thing oh i might not like that thing so experience actually goes beyond classroom mm. it goes beyond the classroom and it goes beyond border Yeah. You can actually explore opportunity not just in the country, but there's opportunity abroad where you can mm. go for a short term uh, exchange program or a semester or a year exchange mm. program, and then when you go, you will see another part of the world, another parts of life that you might not think it's possible to do, and then you can use all of those knowledge to apply in the our country. And second last message, I would say. Um, be aware of the volunteer opportunity because I myself have joined a lot of volunteer opportunity. So some opportunity would actually give you the room to improve, to learn. But be careful of some platform that might exploit you unnecessarily. You might continue with your time, but you might not learn anything at all at the end of the day. So be um, talk to your network, talk to the people you meet, learn about the organization clearly before. Getting started, yeah. Mm. Uh, so thank you very much for your insightful uh, messages to our very Cambodian Jews. So it has come to an end of today's interview. Once again, thank you for spending your valuable time uh, with you. us. Thank you.